everyone, welcome to another vacuum cleaner unboxing. This is a Dyson DC05 vacuum cleaner. This is the DC05 Plus Turbo Brush model with the lime green accents. The cyclone with no loss of suction. I believe the DC05 was Dyson's second cylinder or canister vacuum, the first one being the DC02. Right, let's have a look. Rather a tatty box. But this has been in, I don't know where it's been for a long time. But it's now somewhere safe where I can preserve it. So here we have the instruction book in the more regular colours that Dyson cleaners used to come in, which is the grey and yellow. This is showing all the different models of DC05 available at the time. So let's have a quick look at the instructions because you don't often get a chance to see lovely new Dysons of this sort of age being unboxed. Here is uh, the register your two year, whoops a daisy, two year guarantee is all you got at that stage. And here, what's this? List of uh, spare parts and their prices. You could buy a new turbine head for £29. A new hose would only cost £20, a new bin would cost £25, and a new lifetime MEMA pre-motor filter would cost you £10. But it says lifetime, so you shouldn't need to buy one. And here's the uh, instructions. Not many, not many words, just illustrations. Yeah, that's the lineup of Dyson's, but in that lineup, there isn't the DC05 motor head shown. So I'm wondering if the motorhead came after this or it had already been discontinued. Who knows? Oh dear. First out then is, I normally like to do the vacuum last, but anyway, it's come out the box first. There was plenty of pictures on the eBay listing for this, so I'm, I was pretty confident that it hadn't been used. Now, how do you take the bin off on this model? I thought it was, oh, it is that. Ah, right. So folks, here's a lovely, lovely bin. You don't see many Dysons that have been used with a bin this clear, because as you probably know, after only a few uses, this lovely clear bin soon becomes very cloudy and looks very messy. So Dysons look lovely in the showroom and in pictures before they're used, but after you've used them, you have all your dirt and muck on show, don't you? Anyway, it's a little bit dusty, this. Needs a bit of a polish up. So, the most powerful vacuum cleaner with no loss of suction. Loads of stickers, which I'll be, of course, leaving in place there. On the top there is your suction relief valve, very obvious. And uh, to get to it, it's not as easy to empty as newer models, is it? I think you have to take the top off. Does it come off with a twist? Should have checked the instructions first, folks. Oh, does it, no, it doesn't just lift off. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. So that's how you empty it. You have to take this, uh, Dual, I think it's a dual cyclone. Take that bit off. Here's the bin. Tip it into the bin and reassemble. Yeah, there's a tiny, tiny bit of dust in there. I think the seller has used it just to check. Not multi cyclonic, of course. Just a very simple cyclone. I do like the lime green accent of this vacuum. Right. Yeah, it's not as user-friendly as some of the later Dysons, but that I think that is back together. There's the max, max fill line there. So let's have a closer look at this vacuum. So under the bin, we have another filter, which I assume we access. That's it. So that comes off that lovely and clean and shiny bright like a diamond so this says permanent Dyson H level lifetime 
this way up. Oops, a daisy, wrong way. That's a shame, isn't it? It topples when the, when the top's open. It won't stand upright. So that's just a quite a thick, thick sort of foam pad filter. Now, I'm not sure if these are washable. The top filter, which I'll show you in a moment, yes, that's there, is certainly washable according to the pictures in the instruction book. And I expect the other one isn't meant to be washable. Mm, doesn't look like it, does it? No. Right, so that's a permanent filter there. Fits in the bottom that way up with the writing uppermost. And here, this is your exhaust filter, which is washable, hence the tap illustration. So that's the foam that comes out. And that's your other filter. You can rinse under the tap and give it a good clean, dry, of course, before use. And that fits into the top here. I think, I think it was that way up, wasn't it, folks? Can you remember? <laughs> I know I've only just done it, but I've forgotten. I'm getting on in life and I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I think it does go that way up. Um, da -da 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 -da. Where's the bit on the filter? Yes, it's showing blue up. Blue, blue up. No, we don't want it to blow up. Blue uppermost. And that, ooh, that will close. Let's move that out of the way. That will close when the bag container's in place. But of course, we need to fit that first. Don't put that, don't put the bagless unit on until that's in place. Which goes on here. I think you tuck it in do you or do you no it must tuck in yes it tucks in that's it there we go clicks into place and then we can pop the bin it's not very easy to sort of do hang on that that that's it's a bit odd where's it fit at the bottom ah oh, right there's a little i wonder if that would ever break little thing sticking out there look and a little groove in the bottom so you've got to line that up then sort of push it back that's it then close it right that's on and we've got your cable at the back i love i love 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 this plug in the matching green and it's one of those nice rounded plugs branded dyson I'm not sure what that's all about at the bottom of that plug, can you see something sticking out there? Right, nothing's broken so far. It's got a thin cable, which I will pull out and we'll show you the rewind in a minute. But I'll leave it out until the end of the video because I'm going to turn it on. That well, seems a reasonable, reasonable length of cable. That's it. That is a nice, that is a lot of cable there. So there's that. And then we've got some swing tickets. Another The Story of Dyson booklet, which is possibly the same as um, my DC04 that I opened. Yes, it's the same one, I think. Yeah. Looks about the same. See if we can try and date this shortly. Here's a swing ticket. The DCO5 Plus Turbo Brush is the most powerful cylinder cleaner with no loss of suction. Its turbo brush improves pickup of pet hairs and other fibers. Does that oh it opens? Does it open? No, it's just a single thing. And it's more about the turbo brush. Rotating brush bar powered by airflow improves pickup of pet hairs and other fibers. Adjust to carpet pile thickness. Short power carpet, long power carpet. Also includes Dyson designed floor tool. Mm, I wonder if that's got a nice metal base plate. It might do for the age of this particular cleaner. And there's all sorts of writing on the machine. Engineering and design awards and long lists of awards and things it's won and where it's displayed, museums, etc. So um, that's that. 
so on the back you've got your auto cord rewind won't press it in properly yet and then the other side it's a neat, nice neat little machine we've got your on off switch this is where the hose doesn't seem very strong that bit it'll be okay in my hands though underneath you've got swivel it does you know it's a good it seems a good nice plastic on these there's a combination of different plastics because that's sort of harder that's softer and that plastic that's a, a, like a rubber little bumper that's around the front there and here's the serial number so let's have a look at that folks so it's serial number 076 UK 07878 uh, again I'm assuming it's a UK made machine it's uh, 1250 watts for patent information see operating manual Dyson Limited Malmesbury SN16 ORP England UK okay let's have a look at the tools starting with a lovely metal wand all plastic nowadays the Dysons but uh, lovely metal on this it's telescopic of course oops there we go we've got a ratchet action not too heavy um got a little catch i wonder if those used to break off that little catch there and uh that's the other side of it so that's your oops wand Here's the turbo brush, which made this a little bit different. There is a very, very faint fleck in the grey. It might be hard for you to see on camera, but there's a little fleck. Looks uh, quite familiar shape of turbo nozzle. Seen it on other machines. And in fact, it's made by that German manufacturer that I can never pronounce, but uh, you should know the one I mean. Can you see there? That's the. Can we see it? I'm just trying to hold it so you can see. Can you just about see that in the middle there? That's the brand. They make nozzles for Miele and Sibo and many other brands. So you've got little adjustment for different carpet heights for high pile and low pile. That just opens a vent. You've got parking bracket. Little squeegee. Nice soft sort of squeegee at the back. Two wheels at the back. Two wheels at the front and of course you've got your rotating brush no way of accessing the turbine easily on this model you've got to take the screws out to get to that so no um, access hatch but there we go that's the turbine brush here's the lovely lovely handle do like the design of this obviously you have to Connect. Oh, I just thought it was broken for a minute. I'm always expecting something broken, but no, it's okay. There's a Dyson helpline. I expect that number's changed. 08705 275 104. Open seven days a week, eight till eight. There you've got a suction control. It's one that you have to keep your finger on to briefly reduce the suction. Uh, of course, you've got another little clip fitting so the tools should click nicely into place. I haven't, haven't seen the small tools. Ah, there they are. They've not opened them, but um, I will, I think, uh, if I can find my scissors. I know, I shouldn't really cut into it. I've, I've decreased the value now. Again, lovely, lovely lime green crevice tool, branded with the Dyson logo nice soft dusting brush that you can adjust to different angles um, I was gonna say they don't store on board but I believe they do store on a little caddy that fits to the hose and there's your upholstery nozzle again I think that does that twist yes that twists into other positions it's very nice bright colors Yes, I've seen the tool caddy. Ah, oh, no, it's a little bit 
my only disappointment so far with this machine is we've got a plastic base plate. What a shame. So this is probably later. Oh, look, look what's happened there. Look, folks, that's, in fact, actually, I don't think that's happened. I think that's how it's left the factory. And it's a little bit skew if, look. Never mind, I'll leave it like that. We all have our quotes. Nice, nice soft brushes though on these. Never, that's it. I always find these a little bit awkward, these, this type of nozzle. So there we are in the hard, hard floor position. And I say they're nice and soft, not too soft, but nice and soft brushes for your hard floors. And then for your carpets, you need to press down on there to retract. Well, it doesn't really retract the brushes. It moves the middle plate up and down. So the brushes stay still, but it, it moves this. So I think I had it actually in the carpet setting just then. Okay? Oh no, that is hard floor setting. Carpet setting is that. For your carpets, so there's your main nozzle. And finally, before I switch this on, we have got the hose. And it's, it's not a bad length actually. I think it's a bit long, it might be 1.8 meters. And here, looks like it's all permanently fitted to the hose is your tool caddy. So I'm assuming the tool caddy goes higher up. I don't suppose it matters which end you put the hose into the machine because they look the same. But I think from the pictures I've seen of this model, and yes, looking at the pictures on the instruction book, that goes up the handle end. So we have to put the handle in, of course. Line up that, the lime green collar there. Oh, it's lovely jubbly. I don't know why I'm having, as I, some of you follow me on Facebook and other things, I'm having some little Dyson, I don't know, a revival of Dyson products. I've had a lot of Dysons and I, they, you know, I sort of fell out with them and I'm sort of appreciating them again. I don't rate all Dyson cleaners, but you know, some are okay. So this hose, has to fit into the machine up here. So, I think you just push it. No, it doesn't actually click into place. You just push that like that, and then it's this lime green sort of collar that needs to fit onto this part. I'm wondering if it would be easier to fit it first. Let's take the bin off. Maybe fit this piece first, and that should click when I slide that in. Oh, it hasn't. It's not clicked, but it does seem to be in, in position. I think you can remove it, yeah. But it's not having a nice, it's not got the new, you know, the nice Dyson click that I like. A very, very discreet little click it made. Oh dear, right. Oh, at the time I'm making this video, if you're interested, I've got another DT05 on, on the way that I won on eBay, but it's just the basic, um, basic sort of all floors model, the yellow, the yellow and gray one. It's more or less the same, I think. So that's the hose. We're gonna turn this girl on, aren't we? Very pleased with it so far. There we are, that's that. So for the time that these came out, I'd say in the 90s, they, they were looking pretty different to the vacuum cleaners that we were used to, which of course were, on the whole, bagged vacuums. Let's pop the tools on. There's nowhere to indicate which tool goes on which, so I don't suppose it matters in this case. Not the ideal situation to have the tools stored like this. I don't really find cleaners that have the tools on the hose very convenient, but that isn't a bad attempt. At least they shouldn't fall off those, they seem quite secure. And I suppose they are in a convenient place when you just want to whip off the extension wand and grab your dusting brush. Let's pop the extension wand on, which goes this way. So it should click in. 
Ah, just a tiny little click, not the nice loud click. And then of course we can pop on whichever nozzle we want. Wow, I'm really, really chuffed. It wasn't uh, exactly cheap. I didn't um, have to bid on this. It was on a buy it now. So I decided, well, it's quite expensive. I didn't get it straight away. Uh, nobody else seemed to want to buy it actually, because it was a bit pricey. But I better not force that on. That's, oh, there we are. That's the parking, parking bracket. But to me, you don't see new. There's plenty of Dyson DCO5s, plenty of second-hand Dysons on eBay and other selling sites, but they've had a hard life. And to restore them, you'll end up, you know, to restore, if I got a Tati DCO5, assuming all the parts were available, I'd certainly want a new bin, um, the, the other parts I'd need. And by the time I bought all the parts to restore it to how I want it, it would end up costing as much, I expect, as one of these new in the box ones. I'm gonna plug it in then and uh, see if it turns on. Spoiler alert, yes, it works. It was in the on position. So, do you want to hear it going? Yes? Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's got that, that new motor smell. And it's not too noisy. That isn't too bad at all. Some of the Dysons I've had have been absolutely ridiculously loud. But this one isn't bad. Let's uh, take that off. And let's see uh, if I can judge the suction. If I can take that handle off. Yeah, it is a little bit sort of heavy with the, with the tools on it. Now you can hear as soon as I block the end off, I can hear the very obvious bleed valve on top of the cyclone cutting in and you can feel the suction. So when the air is flowing through the machine, you don't feel anything through this hole, but as soon as I blocked this off, you do feel the suction here. But that's obviously, it's to protect the motor, so there's always airflow, because what happens with a vacuum cleaner motor, when there's no air flowing through the system, that's a bad thing, obviously, because you need the air to flow through to keep the motor cool. When that doesn't happen, most vacuum cleaners nowadays have things like this bleed valve and they have thermal cutouts. But also, when there's no air running through the machine, the motor runs faster. That's why you hear an increase in tone of the motor because it speeds up some scientific physical action that it does. Don't ask me to explain, but I suppose there's no air going through, no resistance because the air will provide some resistance through the motor and fan. It speeds up, so it's not good for the motor. That's why, folks, you should always keep your bagless cleaners empty, keep emptying them, keep the filters clean, and again, with bagged vacuums, keep checking your bag. Make sure it operates efficiently. Let's have a quick go of the turbo. This will, obviously, increase the noise level. It's not too bad that one, not too noisy. So there you go. Still got that lovely new motor smell, not a smell I expect to, from a Dyson of this age, but it is nice. As, you, as my regular viewers know, I am a sucker for old cleaners that are new, if you know what I mean. Cleaners that have long since been discontinued that uh, have managed to survive being bought and opened and used. And I do tend to, <laughs> I'll buy any vacuum, you know, there's some vacuums I buy because I like them, but even if it's a vacuum I've no experience of, if it's new in the box but it's a few years old, I tend to go for those because I, th I think they're pretty interesting. Okay, let's check the cord rewind. It will probably tangle up, but let's give it a go. 
Oh, nearly, I thought we were going to go for a near perfect rewind, but not quite. There we are. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of my new Dyson DC05 Plus Turbo Brush. As I said earlier, it's unlikely you'll see a proper demo of this. I want to keep this nice and shiny and factory fresh, but I am more likely to demonstrate the other Dyson DC05 that is on its way to me, but only after I've sourced a new bin for it or a second-hand bin that I don't mind messing up. If you have any questions about this vacuum or vacuums in particular, please ask below. Please subscribe if you don't do also already. And don't forget, click on that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.